ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malifo and my first Gaining Grounds 18 game. It's uh, good to be back on the table. And tonight we see Yanlo face off against Lady Justice. For terrain, we've got these impassable hardcover blocking uh, buildings. You can walk through these little passageways. Um, I think they're height two, so height three can't. Uh, hardcover blocking impassable uh, building thing, uh, tower things. This tower, you can see through it, but it's hard cover. Uh, soft cover, climbable little hedges, forest is normal, and there might be some walls around. Yeah, there's a wall, hard cover, height one wall, and uh, these are hard cover. Uh, and you, but you can see through the windows, but can't move through them. Hard cover, height one, little walls here. At the time, I didn't particularly care which corner I set up in, so I gave my opponent the, uh, the first deployment which meant that I put down my mark, well, he chose this this corner, and I put down my symbols of authority in a line. Um, there's one just tucked behind this thing. Quite interesting to see how this works out in flank deployment. The guild opted for a slightly more skewed uh, arrangement, and then deployed the Lone Marshal, the Brutal Effigy, Lady Justice. And crap, I'm rusty, because I've just realized I didn't get a uh, shot of my opponent's upgrades. I'm pretty sure she had a sword fighter and badge of office. There might have been another one, can't remember. Francisco almost certainly with Wade in and her Manister Amaris. And then on the other side of the grim portal, we've got the jury with uh, Debt to the Guild, I think. Fiona Gage with Debt to the Guild. And I'm gonna bet transparency if I can read that card correctly. And finally a watcher. Going back, I believe the Marshal also has a debt to the guild. On my side, I deployed my two Cantori, who I will be referring to as Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash, because I'd almost finished painting them when I realized the obvious My Little Pony theme I should have gone with. And uh, so, yep, this is Pinkie Pie with a little pink hair and some balloons on its ass, and whatever that other what was it, Rainbow Dash? with the multicolored thingies and a little cloud with some lightning on him. So proud, so proud. Behind My Little Ponies, we've got Yan Lo with Awakening and Maniacal Laugh, a Goyo, the Soul Porter, um, Azura Rotten with My Little Helper, and over on my far right flank, two Necropunks. My plan. Well, guys, I'm finding 2018 quite difficult in terms of being able to pick a crew that I think has a decent chance of uh, scoring full points. It seemed to me that Guild had some pretty strong options here, and Yanlo, I don't know, I wasn't keen on him in uh, Symbols of, of Authority, but I had to take him, because this is a grudge match game against Francois, who previously I played. He played Yanlo, and I was really dirty and brought out Kalodi. So now it's time for round two with the shoe on the other foot. But I've chosen my timing quite well. My opponent's just come back from an international trip. He's already played a game this afternoon. Yan Lo's been now been super buffed, and I'm taking all the new Resurrectionist dirt. You can still feel bad for me trying to think my way through this scheme pool, if you wish. So what I decided on in the end is I'm going to do the public de demonstration with my Kentoroi and my Goyo. Uh, the guild have got tons of enforcer as enforcers and henchmen as I anticipated they would. And so the idea is I have a 10 activation crew. Um, I'm gonna drop off a Goyo, uh, a station with my Goyo, a zombie with um, Asura, out activate him, wait for the guild to come forward a bit, run my Kentori up um, with the Goyo, score full three points. The Goyo is gonna vendetta uh, Francisco as he has to die. And I just hate that guy. I'm going to be pretty shocked if the Goyo kills Frank, uh, but I, I reckon I'll be able to get two points by the end of the game for that. Meanwhile, my Kentoro will be charging around, dropping corpse markers. They'll be dying. Some guild will hopefully be dying, dropping lots of corpse markers. Yan Lo will make some zombies. The zombies will take Azura's attacks, lowering the defense and maneuverability of the guild, and uh, hopefully putting in some more hits, stopping them from, yeah, basically holding them in the center, stopping them from getting into my backfield. Yanlo will be a super chi sponge from all the dying, and can either go beast mode and um, help me kill stuff in the center, or jump around 
this left flank picking up the uh, markers. And whilst all this is happening, my Necropunks are going to be trying to double up and hopefully make it around and steal the ones on this side. I didn't place uh, one on each flank because I didn't like my chances of getting past the marshal um, over here. And that's, you know, that's a long way around uh, to get to these markers. And so I figured um, I'd go with two of them on this side and just make sure one of them gets through. I've got no intention of stopping and fighting anything with them. They're just going to keep leaping, leaping for victory. Let's see how it goes. Turn one, pretty nice hand. I lose the initiative and get told to go first, which is a shame, but it's not really a problem. The Goryo goes, he goes defensive and drops off a station. And then we both play delaying activations with me moving the station to somewhere Yang can shoot it, but also um, if it gets killed or dies, it will be within Yang's aura. If the guild come in super aggressive, Azura is just walking up around this marker. Um, she uses um, her zero action to summon a zombie from a uh, quarantine marker I placed right in the middle. And then the zombie's wiggling. My necropunks are both leaping and double walking up behind this building as he's sending the jury, uh, Fiona Gage, and the watcher out uh, to contest that flank. Knowing that my opponent basically has a guaranteed six points for the schemes and being pretty certain I'm going to drop one point for Vendetta, I've got to try to slow his advance and stop him from getting to my uh, symbols markers. So I run the Soul Porter up as far as you can go and just hope that he's going to be enough to uh, slow the guild down for a turn. With the scrum that's going to happen in the centre at the end of this turn, I'm hoping that he won't be high enough priority and so I'll be able to position him and get some use out of him before Fiona inevitably ends him. So by this point, uh, Francisco has El Mayor'd um, Lady Justice and moved up towards the centre. Lady Justice is uh, and dragged her forwards, I think. And Lady Justice has just run around over here and gone double defensive, defensive, some kind of defensive. Not a very appealing target, I think you'll agree. So it's time to make my move. I move the Kentore with Goyo, double walking up and place them uh, engaging Lady Justice. Uh, the Goyo not, and with a nice line of sight to Francisco. The other Kentoro double walks, bringing Yan Lo with it for the first uh, first walk, and then walks up also to engage Justice with a line of sight on Francisco. Somewhat annoyingly, I have blocked line of sight from my first Kentoro to Azura, um, which uh, I will regret later. Then Yan Lo goes, he shoots the Seishin for some Chi, uh, also dropping a card for Chi. And I really balls this up. I'm such an idiot. Uh, I haven't played this in a while, and so I forget that I can relent with the Seishin and it doesn't matter. And so <laughs> I end up having to cheat my 11 to make that thing die, and that was uh, that was sad times. Uh, Yan then walks around the corner and tries to lightning dance the marshal, failing the first time, but then succeeding with his zero action, placing the marshal off over here by this Kentoroi. Uh, unfortunately, I've placed it within my Goryo's engagement range. I wasn't thinking about that, so that will stop a charge next turn. It's possible I could have fitted him in, in here. was hoping to use one of the zero actions to heal the Goryo, but I figure it's more important to get Yan Lo up to Spirit Ascendant. And I'm really liking Yan Lo's uh, positioning here. If the guild want to deal with him, they've got to come away from my symbols markers. And if they don't, I'm going to rampage through their backfield and he's within range to soak up all the chi from the action uh, here. And I find with Yanlo, it's so important for him to be more or less central to the table, um, or at least within aura range of where stuff is going to be dying in the first couple of turns. So yeah, we end the turn, and I score three points for public demonstration. Turn two, I held on to some of my good cards, and uh, yeah, that is a very strong hand. I like it. I get the initiative, which was great, and so the Goyo goes, does his little ranged Sunder the Soul attack on Francisco, scoring the first point for Vendetta. And then I debate just running him away and then go making him go defensive again. But I figure it's really unlikely he's going to survive now that I've outed him as my Vendetta guy. Uh, so I decide to just start putting the pressure on Frank as much as I can. Uh, walk him up through the wall and take a shot on Frank. Frank stones, do, uh, preventing all the damage. Frank reposts, killing my Goyo sadly, and uh, putting up Finesse, which is really annoying because that makes uh, charging with my Kentori, which was going to be my next uh, um, next move, may, uh, becomes quite unappealing. And I'm going to have to try to use hands from below to lower his defense first. 
but I've got some other priorities. One of the Necropunks goes and leaps um, and takes away one of the uh, symbols markers. I think the FG gets away from the marker where he could be a stepping stone for Yan and um, gives Lady Justice Fear Not Sword. Takes a pot shot at Yan, which misses. I charge the Soul Porter in at the Watcher, doing a couple of uh, one damage, I think, probably, uh, but importantly, engaging Fiona and the Watcher outside of their engagement ranges. The Marshal escapes the combat and runs out, well, pushes out over here, shooting at, Az at Azura, and it misses. And now I've got to decide, am I going for Frank, or am I going to try to stop that Marshal? I decide I don't really have enough time to debuff him before Lady Justice kills all my Kentauri. So Pinkie Pie goes, uses her zero to uh, be able to charge out of combat, and charges after the Marshal. Doing some pretty nice damage, the cards were quite kind, and I think he's on two or three wounds left. Justice then goes and chops uh, what's it, Rainbow Dash into Salami, and figures she's happy staying there and maybe going defensive. I believe she probably has her sights on Yan Lo if I decide to get involved in the fray. And her Swordsman Somersault thing gives her quite a quite nice maneuverability to uh, get over and support the Marshal should that be needed. Fiona does her own backflipping, uh, leaping over the uh, Soul Pulse to get an extra attack. So it didn't matter that she's out of range, damn that's annoying, but luckily the Soul Porter survives. I mess up my Minus Zombies activation, it might have been that I didn't have Line of Sight to him, but I think I probably did. Um, so instead of debuffing Frank, I just walk over to engage Lady Justice and Francisco. Yeah, so inefficient move, but I think it worked out alright in the end. The jury charges an Echo Punk and fails to even hurt it, I was getting really lucky with the flips this turn. Uh, in response, my other Necropunk double walks and then leaps over to be in base contact with the second uh, Symbols Marker. The Watcher then double walks over, uh, can't quite get to be in base contact with my Symbols Marker. And then I think it's just me to go, so Azura walks up, tries to hands from below on Francisco, but uh, fails because I'm on negative flips because of Finesse, that was very annoying. And then because I moved my zombie up into engagement uh, with Francisco and Lady Justice, I can't just sit back with Yan and shoot at him. Which means I've got to take a more direct approach, approach and lightning dance in, which in the end was a much, much better decision. So because Yan's got lo lots of chi from the Kentoroi dying, the Goyo dying and dropping a card, my cast attack is pretty good. And so I succeed the lightning dance, knock him over to stand by Azura and out of the center. So I know from when Francisco killed the Goyo that he's doing Punish the Weak. And I haven't seen him drop any other markers, so I'm pretty sure he's going for Show of Force with his like five upgrades to my one. So I'm fairly sure this is going to deny a point. And then I charge Francisco and can safely ignore Finesse because I've got cast attacks. And proceed to flail on him somewhat impotently as he's soul stoning and preventing most of the damage. But at some point I do hit a severe, getting my fourth chi. And at the end of the activation, I ascend to Blood Ascendant. Who needs to dick around with killing your own models or exchanging upgrades? And so yeah, because I forgot to use Asura's Quarantine Marker ability at the beginning of this turn, I run out of activations. That extra zombie might have been nice to, to try to put hands on below from on Frank again or something, or try to ding him for a bit of damage. But as the score is now 5-1, I certainly can't complain. Turn 3, didn't get a picture of my hand this turn, but it was pretty hot. I think I also got initiative again, so Yan Lo goes, and I do remember my uh, quarantine marker this time. Um, yeah, so he tries to brutalize Francisco, and as you can see, fails. Frank was soul stoning like mad, and I think that he's now out of stones, and he's got like three wounds left. I've uh, lightning danced over and put slow on him. And just a little bit of extra damage. To be honest, I can't believe I didn't kill him. Francisco then obviously retaliates and goes for Azura as he doesn't fancy his chances against an incorporeal impossible to wound. Full health Yan Lo and uh, does her pretty badly. Azura retaliates and can't kill the bastard. Oh my goodness, he just won't go down. Really wish I'd popped my little helper this turn. Over in the centre, Lady Justice leaps into the air and Black Jokers her attack on Pinkie Pie, who in return stabs the Marshal to death with her Lance, even though she can't charge. And I'm finding that just going with the Lance attack rather than the crazy hooves 
is the thing to do as it's melee six and you know min damage one but it's got poison as well it's still a decent attack I don't know if I missed the opportunity to use Azura's um, attack but I probably didn't have range to the marshal to use it Brutal sprints to keep up with his mistress and my zombie follows I need to stop him breaking through and getting my markers uh, what's, what happens to my soul porter finds he can't quite run over and, uh, and uh, stab Frank to death so I just stay put and punch Fiona for some chi, powering Yan low up more. It might have been a better idea to walk through and, and try to do some more damage to the Watcher and keep it engaged, but in the end it doesn't matter because Fiona murderizes the little guy, jumps forward into this uh, uh, scrum, pushes Frank out into range of the center. Nice move there. God, I hate how flexible these guild jumping, leaping models are. My Necropunk claims another symbol and runs around over here. The Watcher claims my symbol. Jury kills my other Necropunk. We really hate min damage for three, netting punish the weak. And I realise I'm not necessarily narrating the activations in the correct order that they happened in, but I just can't remember. Uh, so yeah, at the end of this turn, the guild pick up uh, three points because Francisco just won't freaking die. Going into turn four, a fully powered up Yan Lo just cleans clocks. I think the guild might have got the initiative. Francisco probably killed Azura, and then Yan Lo just wasted him and Fiona. I would have liked to have got the Watcher, I don't know, with a lightning dance or something maybe, but I figured Fiona needed to die, and it took all my AP doing it. Finally, I've got a zero action left, and I could, I've got enough Chi now to go to Bone, uh, bone Ascendant and get all the upgrades but I've got maniacal laugh and I want zombies so I make some zombies for no real tactical purpose other than I just can my opponent's cards continue their awful betrayal of him and Lady Justice black jokers are a post he cheated for on Pinkie Pie I'd gone with the Kentoro, realized I couldn't get line of sight on the watcher unfortunately and so walked around Lady Justice trying to uh, get his engagement range to block the marker. I don't quite know what her leap rules do, but I, I'm worried that she'll just leap over me and get to it. As it turns out, I think I made her, uh, her job easier. I ate the corpse marker that I dropped the previous turn to go back up to full wounds, and then just put in a, you know, just a, a little shot into Lady Justice, why not? And got quite lucky here. Go Katoroi! Lady Justice somersaults and does grab my symbols marker, which is a shame. I really, really want to try to deny these points given how close the game could be. My Necro Punk, Punk leaps again, claims the final uh, sh uh, symbols marker and just walks away to safety and the giant jury comes running back towards the center and <laughs> the zombies mob towards the watcher. So in the final turn the guild get the initiative, No, and the watcher picks up my final symbols marker bringing Francois to seven points and so I need to kill the jury, or at least stop her from getting to the center to secure the win. So Yanlo goes, walks around, lightning dances, slows, does some damage, and then sucks her to death with his soul-eating mouth light, which cannot be pleasant, ladies and gentlemen. And so with no more opportunities to score for either of us, that's where we end the game. Final scores, the girl picked up three points for Symbols of Authority, three points for Punish the Weak, and one point for Show of Force. Now that was a surprise. Resurrectionists got three points for Symbols of Authority, three points for Public Demonstration, and two points for Vendetta, making this game 8-7 to the Resurrectionists. Super fun game that, and very happy that my plan worked as well as it did. Kentoroi are filthy! They hit pretty hard, they move really fast, and oh my goodness, Vasilisa eat your heart out at 11 stones, like, oh my goodness. Or however much it costs now, it's still more than the Kentoroi. Necropunks were little heroes, drawing upgrade carriers away from the center and slipping past them. Still really, really solid models. Azura, I don't think I used properly or, or well enough. Forgetting one of her quarantine markers on a key turn was, a, you know, that was a mistake. Wouldn't have made a huge difference, but would have, uh, would have been nice. I think I did okay, or I think I did what I think you're supposed to do with her, keep her back from the action. Um, just skirting around the field. It was really nice to have her as that lightning dance target out of the center. 
But hands from below is such powerful ability, I, I really feel I should have made more, uh, been able to make more use of that. I think I stand by my decision to put the Soul Porter out on a far flank rather than going after the Watcher with uh, Azura. But that could have been another way to play it. Yan Lo, Yan Lo, he is such a beast now. He killed Francisco, Fiona Gage, and the jury. I mean, let's be fair, Francisco put up a hell of a fight. Yeah, the old man now packs some serious power. It kind of felt funny how um, we both have, uh, in comparison to Lady Justice, how you know both our masters jumping around, smashing stuff. Was great fun. Ultimately, my plan of having a million zombies just ganging, gumming up the center didn't happen. But with a, a little bit of card luck, let's be honest, uh, the cards were very friendly to me this game. I was still able to get to uh, Blood Ascent turn two. This new Yan Lo is a very different animal, and I look forward to getting him out some more. But anyway, yep, many thanks to my opponent. He's a great guy, really chilled out, and a pleasure to play against. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. <laughs>